The greatest economic impact associated with depression comes from the workplace and is associated with workplace productivity. We looked across eight diverse countries in terms of GDP, so countries that were high income but also um, middle income countries, and also countries that were not traditional Western countries. There's very little data which look at costs of depression in, in these other types of non-traditional Western um, non-high income countries. What we found was that across all of those countries there was a significant uh, economic impact of workplace uh, depression and this was associated um, on average with 1% um, loss in GDP for the countries uh, in terms of presenteeism costs only and overall we estimated the economic impact to be around 220 billion US dollars for eight countries. I think initially people often uh, estimated workplace costs associated with absenteeism and people just taking off work completely but there is a real cost also to people um, coming to work maybe when they're not um, at their full capacity um, and not being able to um, contribute or perform in the same way that they would when they, they are healthy. And so this is, yeah, these are the presenteeism costs that we try to assess. There are differences in terms of um, how the culture was maybe impacting on whether people come to work, whether t they take off, or um, whether they, they're able to get diagnosed or maybe treated for their depression. So I think economics and resources in the countries does play a role there. But actually what we can see from these data is that across all of the countries, uh, there was significant impact, both in absolute terms, in terms of the economic impact um, that employers will face, but also in terms of when you when you relate it to the proportion of GDP, actually there's, there's quite a significant impact on, on all of the countries in that way also. There's starting to be at least growing interest because there has been more and more research showing that not only that depression is the leading cause of disability now worldwide, which makes a real impact, I think, in WHO and other international organizations have highlighted this. Now the next step will be for employers to also recognize that there is a real business case to deal with depression in the workplace also.